Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, we take a look at the latest 3.9L patch notes. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. If you do enjoy my content and would like to make it even better from as little as $1 a month, it is all very much appreciated. Be sure to check the links in the description below. So, Alpha 3.9.0L was the latest patch to release to the Eva Catties. It begins with a request for the Eva Catties to gather any videos showing client to client desync. This is basically where one player sees one thing and the other sees something completely different. They also want to include the session information. We know that the latest builds were suffering from desync issues, which is probably the main reasons why we don't have it in wave one right now. So it is good to see them gathering as much information as possible to help tackle these issues. Now I'm sure they will find a problem and resolve it. I just hope that they do it quickly so that we get it in our hands. Anyway, testing focus is the same, likely with a little more emphasis on sorting out the desync. So for feature updates in 3.9L and gameplay, new notifications for the contacts list should now appear at the top of the list instead of at the bottom of the front menu. And on the menu, players can click their own name to leave the party rather than the chat window. So this is a good couple of logical approaches that should be instinctive to the player. Uh, this is all part of the new player contact, unified contact system, making it easier for people to get in and play together. So fingers crossed that is useful. Uh, the Comoray hack missions should now only be offered for the jurisdictions that the player is in. Very glad to see that they're applying a little more logic to the missions as well. Hopefully it'll apply to the other missions. That makes sense. So instead of having to travel all the way from Microtech to Hurston, it is going to be around the location you're at. They've also rebalanced the merit rewards for mineables while in prison. Uh, and after release from prison, your last used ship, if applicable, will be placed at the rest stops above Hurston. So onto ships, they have disabled pass-through damage on exterior countermeasure launchers as a temporary workaround to shield holes. Now, I assume this is one of the issues that we're seeing with certain ships where you can negate the shields because the shields aren't there. Hopefully this is kind of fixes the problem until they get the signed distance shields in, which will hopefully eradicate the problem then. Uh, also for ships, further audio polish to mining consumables, which will be for when you use the Argo Mole or the Misk Prospector. So there's been a few more bug fixes. Uh, the UI alert for weapons not available in an armistice zone should no longer be debug text. I am looking forward to when they can actually remove the armistice zones completely and just rely on local security forces. It'll be a very interesting time for a while when they do that. Uh, also, the extra duplicated trains should no longer appear at Lawville Area 18 and New Babbage, which is excellent news. One of the irritating bugs that keeps happening is the trains around these landing zones are bugging out, meaning that we're stuck, basically. So I'm happy to see that's getting attention. Also, a free hacking chip for the Comoray hack missions around Microtech should no longer be placed on faraway planets. Again, more logic being applied here to ensure that the players that are taking on missions around a particular location are not expected to then jump all the way to other locations just for sake of, say, a hacking chip in this regard. So excellent news. They've also fixed a server crash and four client crashes plus a server deadlock. So that is it for the latest patch notes. Now still no wave one in sight for the time being, but I would definitely rather they fix the desync issues first. So I'm okay with this. Also, the longer that they do have it in the Eva Catty's hands, then the more bugs that they can get fixed before it's released to the wider audience. At this point, it is pretty much anyone's guess as to when a wave one will come. So I'm not gonna put any of my suggestions in because I don't even think CIG really know how long it's going to be. All I hope is that when we do get it, it is the most stable build we've had in a long while. Either way, I will be creating more videos covering all the leaks and a new ship buyer's guide will be coming to my channel. We will keep hanging out over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan, having a great time over there with you all, chatting about Star Citizen now and beyond. Thank you all so much for the support as well on Twitch and here on YouTube and Patreon. It is all very much appreciated, allowing me to do what I love to do. Make sure you hit subscribe and tick that notification bell as well so you know exactly when all of my videos go live. Hit the like button if you want CIG to fix this desync issue. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.